Hello boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is Kelly from Nice Lady Productions and I was recently at a gear show in which Nikon was there. Let's listen in on my conversation with the Nikon rep as he takes me through some of the video specs of both the D4 and the D800 and D800E, starting with the conversation about a very cool feature, crop modes on the Nikon D4. Let's listen in. Okay, so tell me how you would actually use this in real life. For, for example, this uh, I'm shooting with a 1635. Normal frame, frame size will be like this. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, if I'm really pushing it, oh, I need that extra ridge. I can do a crop. Bring, bring me a little bit closer. Wow. See that? Yeah. It's like carrying a zoom. Even though you crop about 2.7, you're still shooting at 1080. Okay, so it has three crop modes, right? Does it have uh, three? Well, if, if, if I'm using a DX mode, I, I, I perhaps I can uh, do that. Because this one has three and the other one is two, right? The D800? Yeah. The image area, I intentionally set it to DX. So this is DX. Okay. So it's kind of a middle uh, between the two. 1.5. Yes, yeah. 1.5 okay. crop. So full frame, you don't have no crop. DX crop, 1.5. And uh, a special uh, crop mode for your uh, high depth will be 2.7. And can you use uh, DX lenses with the camera? Yes, absolutely. You can do auto crop. Uh, the, the camera will automatically detect that you have a, uh, you're using a DX lens. Okay. Therefore, it will crop uh, for you to a 1.5 crop back. Wow. Cool. And but you're not. You're not going to uh, see vignette. Sacrificing vignette. the resolution, you're still going to be shooting 1080. Take me um, through some more. Uh, right now, because I'm not hooking up any external microphone in right. stereo, so I'm ha I'm only getting mono sound. So both bar or moving at the same level. Okay. But otherwise, if once I'm mounted on um, with an external microphone, for example, Nikon produce their own ME1 right. uh, shotgun microphone, the left and right bar will, will somehow fluctuate. Is it too... 17. This is now just sort of perfect. Right? Perfect. Okay. It's going to be 422 output. Okay. So um, what you can do, you, you, can, you can hook it up to a um, external uh, LCD screen. Okay. For um, for monitoring, okay. or you can also use it uh, to a external HDMI uh, recorder. For example. Okay. Cool. Okay. Because it's outputting uncompressed signals, you can actually record uncompressed high def footage from an external device. Very cool. Right. Now, now, not only that, you know how um, the uh, a, a common theme of the SLR is every time you step step up and down with, with, with the f stop, it's very chunky. And your exposure change uh, uh, and, and, and your, your depth of field change as in increments. Yeah. Now, what I can do, what, imagine yourself, you wire your HDMI to an external recorder. I can assign my function button to open my power aperture. I can open and close my aperture using the power aperture function. So, uh, these are essentially the two buttons I'll be using. Okay. okay. To close and open my, my aperture. So to demonstrate that, okay. uh, notice your, the f-stop. Okay. See how smooth it is. Wow. It's impressive. It's the power aperture. That is impressive. I'm right. impressed. Now, <laughs> how, however, the power aperture don't don't work while if you're recording um, onto the card. Okay. During the recording, my my aperture, my power aperture won't won't, won't, won't work. Okay. I still have to rely on the. Um, so uh, while you're recording, it won't work. Will it re work if you have HDMI out to an external recorder? Yes. You okay. Got it. That, okay. You, you, so you take the cards out, you record to your external recorder, and power aperture works. Yes. And then. If you want to record to a card, you can't use power aperture. You can before recording or... Before recording, yes. yes. Before okay. recording, I can use power aperture. The dedicated recording button is on top. It's designed to the on the top. When you press it, then you have 
plenty of support so they came up all move. Right, it's, it's not moving. Steady. Yeah. And, and versus pushing the middle button and I'm pushing the camera to the, toward the front. Everything I just mentioned uh, mirror exactly on a D D800 except the 2.7 clock. The 2.7 clock uh, is only available on D4. Be between the E and, and the regular D800 both have um, an optical um, low pass field. Which one is the one that would be more cinema focused? Uh, to be honest with you, both um, make absolutely no difference in, in video. The only difference that you're going to be seeing on both is when you're stu uh, shooting still. Okay, um, so there's no difference in the video? There's no difference in the video because the way that it, the line was scanning uh, has no effect um, with the change of, uh, of, of the spec from, from the EU. Okay. So if so you're a video, video shooter, it doesn't matter if you're going to get the D800 or the DE. That's right. So the E version is for commercial shooters, for those who always shoot with medium format, because the medium format don't have a optical low pass filter anyway. So I'm um, going back to D4 again. I can assign my shutter button to do live frame grab. Okay. okay. So, say I'm, I just started a movie. Now, during the movie, if I press the shadow release button, it will do a frame grab. See, see, see the little mm -hmm. camera icon blink? Without stopping the, the actual video recording at all. So you're taking see, photos while you... I'm, I'm taking photos while recording the movie, but I'm not interrupting the movie. Very cool. However, this video, well, the, the, the image itself is not a full rest uh, uh, still picture. They are okay. going to be uh, 1920 by 1080. Okay. Right? Because you're now shooting a 1920 by 1080 video. Right. So every frame grab you're doing is 1920 by 1080. Okay. Okay, so for continuity uh, editing, yep, yep. that would be great. And there you go. We have uh, D4, D100, and D800E. Yeah. Wow, very nice. Thank you very much. Okay, so there you have it. If you're looking for a rundown of all the features of these cameras in regards to their video shooting specs, check out my blog. I've got them all listed there for you. Have a great day. Have a great night. We'll talk later.